hey family welcome back to another video and in this video i decided to show you guys one of my very best um hair growth oil in fact this is like my second best hair growth oil that i make for my hair and for my kids and it has proven to be magical so before i go into this video guys i want to give a huge shout out to all my subscribers and to you who is watching for the very first time please turn the just click the subscribe button and join the family so guys to start up i'm gonna be using um onion i want to use one uh i'm using yellow onion some people say it's brown but that's what i'm using yeah so um you want to clean your onion like you just take away the, the dead skin and then cut it open and remove all what unwanted areas that you that you find on them and then you're going to cut the onions into very small pieces so guys onion helps to nourish our follicles with um its rich content of of sulfur of sulfur it improves hair growth also by boosting the level of antioxidant catalyst onion also helps to fight dandruff guys it helps to disinfect your scalp so it kills all bacterials on your scalp all the bacteria that uh, prevent hair growth by blocking our 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 pores so onion helps to open them up and to improve hair hair growth so it also stimulates your the blood flow to your scalp making your hair to grow properly okay guys so a constant use of onion is going to help your hair to grow nice healthier and thicker so you want to cut i just discovered that my onion was really bad inside so i had to remove all those parts and then i cut it into small pieces so guys like i always say all these ingredients will only work for you if you are constant with them you cannot expect to take medication one time and get well you have to be constant you have to be constant with what you're taking okay guys for you to see any results you have to be constant okay guys so you want to chop that into small pieces and then you put it in a blender because we want to blend it all right so once that is done put it aside and let's get to the next ingredient which is ginger so guys i do not know i don't really know what um, amount of ginger i'm using but that is what i'm using yeah <laughs> so ginger also helps to stimulate hair follicles it also which helps to promote which helps in turn promote hair growth right guys it contains a lot of vitamins and minerals and fatty acids which also contribute in strengthening our hair ginger also is one of those ingredients that you can use to fight against to fight hair loss a constant use of ginger on your scalp will help you to regrow your bowel areas it also fights dandruff so it, it cleans your scalp because it also has antiseptic properties and then it conditions your hair it makes your hair feel and looks very good okay guys Oh, and it also most especially helps to fight against split ends so it will help your hair to stop breaking and then we're going to add one of my favorite all-time favorite ingredients which is aloe vera i cannot do without them guys i've noticed how much it how wonderful it feels on our hair so it makes our hair to feel so much so nice that i don't want to stay without them so I'm going to be using about three leaves of small leaves of aloe vera. If you have one big leaf, I think it's going to be okay. So aloe vera contains a lot of enzymes which helps to repair damaged cells in our scalp, guys. Aloe vera conditions your hair, makes your hair shiny, makes your hair thicker. Aloe vera has anti-inflammatory properties which help to smooth your scalp. It fights about against dandruff because it has a lot of anti-fungi and anti-viral properties which cure dandruff. Okay, guys, it also so so many people have been complaining that their hair is so hard. Guys, if your hair is too hard, try aloe vera, you'll be amazed. Just start using aloe vera as your purple or your deep conditioner, you will be amazed. Then after, guys, we're going to be adding the almighty, one of the oldest ingredients that, that is 
used to fight Helof, which is um, fenugreek. And then we will blend everything up. And then once that is blended, that is how it looks. So guys, if you do not have fenugreek seeds and you have the powders, just put it there, okay? Just use the powder that wants. I did not have the, the powder, that's why I'm using the seeds. So if you have the powder, you'll be adding it at this stage, okay, guys? So once you add your, your, your fenugreek, you want to continue with adding your oil so i'm adding my avocado oil and and then i'm also that's a quarter cup of avocado oil and then i'm going to add i'll be adding two cups two of those uh, quarter cups of castor oil and then i'm adding the mother of all oils extra virgin olive oil so if you have low processing hair and you want to make this hair oil you will have to replace your oils maybe you have to use a lot of um olive oil with grape seed oil and a lot of with sunflower oils, those very light oils, okay, guys, because these ones I use are going to be heavy for your hair. Then you will bring that on the fire and put it on hot water. So we're going to be doing the double boiler method. You put it on hot water for about 20 minutes, okay, guys. Yep, 20 to 30 minutes, okay, and then you will stay. You leave it on the on the fire until then onto the time frame okay guys on low heat guys remember on low heat so guys after about uh, 15 to 20 minutes that's how it looks you 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 realize that i changed the bowl that's because my i was scared that the bowl was going to break it became too hot and i did not use the oven bowl so that's why I decided to use plastic, change it to plastic. I didn't want to break the bowl. So then I'm just straining it. I let it cool off. Then I'm straining it, okay? Strain the pulp. Guys, that pulp looks like um, eggplant stew. <laughs> and then you put, you just separate it. And then that's that's your oil so you want to pour that into your container the container in which you're going to save your oil it was too full I had to and then you're going to add all your essential oils okay guys so guys do not worry I'm going to put um, the list of all the ingredients that I'm using in the description box below so even if I don't mention the name of the oils that I'm using, you're going to find everything down below, okay? So I'm adding the drops into my oil. So like I said before, please subscribe, share the video, and support your girl. <laughs> so just, that's the first, that's the, the oil, guys. That's how it looks. Very effective. So for those of you who don't, know, who don't want to waste like I am, I'm going to continue with the second method. So this method, guys, you can just do it. If you don't want to do the double boiler method, you can do this method from the beginning, okay? So you just blend everything and pour it in a pot, and then you put your oils to it, and you start cooking. All right, guys? So I'm adding the same oils that I added before. And then you're going to cook on very low heat for 15 minutes. This is like 10 to 15 minutes. This method is suitable for 10 to 15 minutes. And you have to be stirring constantly so that you don't burn the, the fenugreek. The fenugreek will be, the fenugreek will tend to stick a lot on the pot, guys. So if you don't stir constantly, it will burn. And if you burn it, I'm not sure your oil is going to be effective anymore. So you keep stirring. And then you reduce your heat, reduce your heat to low, to really low. Okay, guys, it should really be low. And you keep stirring for about your maximum time of cooking is 15 minutes. So once you start seeing the um, that it's um, producing a lot of foam and your aloe vera starts to dehydrate, then you know your oil is ready. You want to take it out of the fire and let it to cool down and then you add your other you add the oils again 
so guys you see what i'm talking about guys if you look at if you look closely you'll see that it's burn it's almost burning it's sticking at the on the owner of the pot not burning sticking at the owner of the, on the owner under of the pot of the pan so if you don't stir that's how your oil is not going to be good All right guys so what i'm showing you now is just how the aloe vera has dehydrated and so we're going to strain it So guys, if you're using a panty hose, like what I'm doing now to strain, you will discover that um, some of the pulp of the fenugreek is coming out, which I really like. I don't know. I just like when I do this method, I just like to have some of the pulp at the bottom of my oil. I just think that uh, <laughs> some of the ingredients, some of the nutrients in the fenugreek will still continue to come out and infuse in the oil. That's just what I believe. <laughs> So if you don't like it, just strain normally with a seal or something and, and your oil is ready. So that's what I'm like, that's what I was talking about. Then I'm going to be adding M MSM powder into this one. Guys, I did not put in the first one because um, when you put S um, MSM powder in an oil, it does not melt. If, if you'll be using it, you will notice that it does not melt easily when you put it there. But if you put it in an oil that has some water in it, it will melt very easily. So I, I added in this one because of the fenugreek pulp that is at the bottom. It helps it to melt off. And then again, I'm adding all my essential oils, which I said I was going to, I'm going to list them down below. Just go and check them down under the video and you will see it. Actually, I discovered that some people don't know how to go to the description box. Guys, under the video on your right, I think on your right, you'll see a little bit, a small arrow that is pointing downward. Just click on that arrow and everything, when it opens up, you'll see a drop down list of everything that will come up, everything that you're looking for. You just scroll down and up and you'll, see, you'll find everything that you're looking for. So you pour that into your container. And then you're done so your oil is really ready to be used okay guys so these are the two methods tell me in the description box which method which method you love best okay guys so for easy storage i'm just going to pour both of them into the same container and put them in the fridge okay guys i put them in the fridge and that is it we use it on our hair to massage our scalp okay guys so thank you for watching guys i love you all bye